Hey what's up Seder and welcome to Just Ignore Them. It is an RPG maker type of horror game which brings us back to the classic times of YouTube where everything was simpler and everyone uploaded nearly horror games of this type of genre. <laughs> so let's dive into it shall we? New game. This game contains scenes of graphic disturbing nature as well as inappropriate language. Like the fuck you? Okay. Ooh. Hello there. Oh yeah, um I would just like to point out that when I first um started watching YouTube, I always um click on those uh creepy stuff. You know I search creepy in the search bar. And I always watch creepy, uh, creepy videos, creepy facts, top, um, top, creepy things. Yeah, I was a weird kid back then, and I was, um, I think I was um, suggested to a channel called Creepy Gaming, and that's that's when I got interested in the concept of gaming in YouTube, and and because of my search history in creepy stuff and gaming. Um, I was led to um to some um, game theories creepy videos explaining stuff like Pokemon yeah Pokemon like those creepy Pokedex entries and then when I searched if, uh, when I um, kept doing them I think YouTube suggested me to Markiplier like yeah we all know that Markiplier loves his horror games and the first Markiplier video that I ever watched is um, the, crooked, uh, the Crooked Man, yeah, I think that was the, the video and it's this kind of games, the RPG maker horror type of games simpler times back then, simpler times everyone was uploading even though it was edgy, creepy and downright disturbing Everyone was fine, everyone was having fun, but now, yeah, now I don't know what happened. So yeah, I'm trying to bring that back. I hope it works. <laughs> it won't probably work, but hey, we're here. So, hello there. Ooh. Ooh, point and click. Right, that's another genre that is classic in YouTube, point and click games. Toys. Hey, my toy robot. Hmm, it's not working. It has no batteries in it. Well, let's go, let's go look some batteries then. You should help me sleep. Uh, batteries. Uh, Casper Sky Secure Connect, please shut the fuck up. Hmm, mommy said I shouldn't watch TV before I go to bed. It'll give me bad dreams. Uh, not unless you watch some creepy shit or scary stuff. Um, teddy bear? I never liked that teddy. It move. uh. Okay, it moves on it all, its own. Then kill it with fire! Fuck it! You should tell your parents. Oh, okay, cliche. The parents won't believe the child. Hmm. I can't do anything with it. Okay. How about the vent? There's the monster that lives in there. What the? Either this kid is crazy, or he has a very imaginative imagination. Never really comes out. Doesn't like mommy's perfume. Then let's go get your mom's perfume. Closet. Let me guess, there's a monster in there. It won't click on the... Okay, you don't have anything to say about the skeletons in your closet? Kid? Oh, oh, I better go to bed. Okay. Okay, you just moved your entire bed. You're a strong kid. Okay, nice and snug. Ah, uh, and it's raining outside. Let's just feel that. Ah, uh, nice and snug. Mommy, can you please turn off the lights? 
<coughs> uh, oh, hi, mom. You look like you're on drugs. What the hell? Okay, my special little guy. My special boy. Mm -hmm. Who are you, Pamela Voorhees? Are you ready for bed and to slice some teenager crows who are always humping each other? <laughs> yes, mommy. Okay, honey. Good night. Remember, if you see a monster, give him my perfume. Ah ha ha ha. Ah, just ignore it. I know, mom. Oh, okay. Good boy. I love you. I love you too, mom. Okay, monsters come out. Uh huh. Huh? Oh my god. Oh, I thought something was gonna come out of the vents or the closet. Or that Teddy would move again. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. Closet? Ben? Um, is this Poltergeist? Is Cthulhu gonna snatch me from the TV? I can see something. It's Cthulhu! Get out, kid! It's a face! Your face or my face? Mom? Sh 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 should I turn on the TV off? I turn the TV off, not turn on the TV off. <laughs> the fuck? Um, yeah, um, uh, 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 no, no. Maybe I shouldn't touch the TV. Yeah, because it's one of those, um, horror cliche that. If you turn on the TV, even if you pull out the plug, it won't turn off. It's really creepy. Mommy said I shouldn't watch the TV go to bed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. I bet this has something to do with you, creepy teddy. Why would uncle give you to me? <laughs> that creepy uncle. Oh, Uncle Larry. Why did you give me a cursed teddy bear? Mm, that was... That's the most sketchiest name I've ever heard. Larry. You know Larry has something up his sleeves. He probably killed his wife. Probably to celebrate his new job at the that game company. Ah, oh, the uncle that works at Nintendo. <laughs> oh shit. Ignore it. Um Oh shit, oh shit. I thought my door opened for a second there. Remember what mommy says. Just ignore them. So let's go to sleep then. <laughs> I just... I can't sleep just yet. Okay, kid. Let's go exploring. Um. Oh! It's the closet. Like mommy said, just ignore it. And then why are we checking it out? Just close the door and find mommy. Don't look inside. Don't look inside. Okay, mommy. I was only eight back then. I had no idea what was I in for. Oh, okay. But nothing could prepare me for the night. Oh, shh! Hmm. I hate it when she locks the door. I need to find her spare key. Is, th is that blood? On the, um, on, above the kitchen door. Okay. What's this? It's a screwdriver. Mommy would never let me play with this. Yeah, you could poke your eye out, kid. Until now, he 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 he. Haha, such a mischievous kid. It's locked. Oh, poop. Wait. There's a number scratched under the doorknob. 820. Remember that, folks. 820. 820. It's locked. I can't do anything with it. 
there's a small tear in the picture. I better not make it worse. Why? I got an achievement. But why? Telephone? I can't do anything with it. Call the police or something. Or the Um uh, um I Ghostbuster, hello? <laughs> uh oh shit, I skipped the message. I should check the message, okay. Let's check this thing, it's TV remote. Hmm. I can use the batteries out of this. Mommy wouldn't care anyway. She never watches TV. There was something strange about the TV in my bedroom. To turn it off, she would have to directly... Ah. You... You would have to... I think you're missing an L there. You would have to directly from the TV itself. Okay. But to turn it on, I had to use this remote. Did, did mom turn on my TV? No kid, it was ghost. Get the fuck out of that house, come on. But this is a horror game, you won't. Let's see, what's in here? Nope, the strange book with a red shiny thing on the side. Then pick it up. There was that one book that caught my eye. But every time I drew my hand closer to it, I could hear something whispering in my ear, like Dick. Huh. Who said that? The right picture code is in the full picture. Oh, the right code is in the full picture. Ah, in the picture in the hallway? Okay, or in the picture in this... Rose. Dining table. Kitchen drawer. Hey, it's mommy's step ladder. She needs to reach the cupboard. Then go get it, kid. What's this? It's one of mommy's lavender smelly things. Oh, let's go put it in the vent. What's in here? Nothing. Just like my dreams. My hopes. My dreams. Duh. Uh, maybe I should stay inside for now. Did your dog die? I'm getting a lot of achievements and I don't know why. There's a message on the telephone machine. It's mommy. Uh, but I thought she was sleeping upstairs. This wasn't the first time I received a message from mom at late hours. Hey honey. I'm just out grocery shopping. I found your favorite toy in the linen closet upstairs. I left it in, your, in there for you. I'll be home soon. Love you. Oh cool. That must be my... Game player, okay. Game boy, that's weird. This message was recorded two minutes, two minutes ago. Then who's, who's the lady sleeping upstairs? It's too dark for mommy to be shopping. I knew who left the message. Who? Who left the freaking message? I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, microwave? Maybe there's something in here. No! Why did you go into the microwave? What? Do I need to start all... Oh, I Did 
this game is weird. <laughs> yep, this game is weird. M my character just crawled into the microwave and he died. Like, why would you do that? Okay, in the picture, right? Okay. Oh, linen closet. Why are there bloods pointing me to the right direction? I can hear something inside. Maybe I should. Huh? Oh shit! Oh, run, kid! I died! I died! Um, telephone? Um, I have a toy robot, a screwdriver, batteries. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, let's save. Uh-huh. Okay, um, BRB, this is going to take a while. Interesting, right? Oh, screwdriver first. Of course. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, that's <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, that's a a long vent you have there, kid. Okay, we got into the bathroom. I know my mom is keys in here somewhere. Ah, found it. Why would your mom have a spare key in the bathroom? I don't need that. Hmm. Should I go? Or just hold it. Go. Whoa! What the fuck? You're just going to pee. The hell? What the? Why? I just made my character pee. You should always go before you do something. Fuck you. I, I thought you already found it. Uh, well, really? Really? We need to go through all over that thing. Oh. I'm just uh, an idiot. Let me guess, your mom is dead. Mommy, are you in there? Mom! 
me. I was right. She was dead. No. Okay. She, she, she's just sleeping. Yeah, with ketchup all over her face. Mommy, why are you bleeding? It's just a period, kid. No need to get serious. M mommy, <laughs> I shouldn't act so... Such a douche in this kind of moment, but... <laughs> so funny. Mommy, I can save you. This is just a bad dream. I hope... There she was. Laying in a pool of her warm, shiny blood. There was... You can tell it's shiny. I didn't see a light there. It's funny, you know. I knew this was coming. I wasn't fast enough. And now she's dead. Thanks. For what? Dad. Dad? Oh, you're a grown man now, hey? Okay, let's um switch to our grown man voice. Oh, uh, hey, thanks for the coffee. Uh, don't mention it. We don't usually get customers at 5 a.m. Except for you. Oh, sorry about that. I couldn't sleep. Huh? What's on your mind, hon? <laughs> uh, have, um, well... You know, the feeling as if you're being watched, right? I'm weird that way. Oh yeah, every time I finish my ship, I feel like someone is stalking me. Uh, that's probably me. I like you, um, counter girl. Uh, w why? Is someone stalking you? I'm just going to disregard what you said. <laughs> um, well, sort of. Look, just forget it. You probably won't believe me anyway that I'm your stalker. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Look, Mark. You've been here every day uh, for what? Five years? Now? You know, you can always talk to me about anything. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm talking to you. The fact that I am your stalker and you're, not, and you're just ignoring it. You're just ignoring everything I say. Remember when I told you about my mother? You can forget, it was all over the news. I still remember the date. September 4, 2000. 2000. Yeah. Are you sure you want to talk about her? You get pretty upset about what happened. Yeah, it's probably for the best. We should always talk our problems out. No, it's okay. I want to. When I found her body, there was someone else in the room with us. Who? Did they murder your mother? No, she wasn't murdered. Do you know what day it is? Well, sure, it's sep September 4. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mark. She killed herself. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Mark. Well, I just realized that now. Um, I don't even know your name. No, it's okay. But what I'm about to say, you definitely won't believe. <laughs> Try me. It was a monster. The monster in my closet. And I'm on drugs. <laughs> okay. A monster. Look, Mark, you're under a lot of stress lately, and maybe you should stop taking those happy pills. You know what I mean? See, I said that you wouldn't believe me. Sorry, Mark, it's a little bit far-fetched for me to believe. Plus, you're already taking happy pills right now as we speak. But I am so sorry about what happened. Oh, um, it's okay. And... This is my last happy pill, so shut the fuck up. Look, how about you start the story again from yesterday morning? 
after you found your mother's um dead carcass. Are you sure you want to hear it? Why do I sound like Jason Statham? Statham? I don't know how to pronounce his surname. Uh, well, it's still 5.30. We don't open until 7. And you're the creepy guy who always comes here early. Uh, okay. After I found her body. Flashback. Flashback. Yes, you told. Um, I thought you were just a kid. What do I do? Um, you're driving. It doesn't matter. They'll still follow me. Until I give my last breath, they will find me. But I hope she's safe. Whenever I mention them, whenever I mention them to everyone. Dies. Oh. Uh huh. I'm guessing this is a choice based kind of game. Like the ending will. will. will be determined by your choices. I have to stay on the road. I can go back now. I've lived here. For a long time and met too many people this is all I've ever known and nothing will ever change that and there is no hope okay a little bit dark there are you sure you're not a DC character only pain Yep, you're Batman. <laughs> What's up with the upbeat music? It's gonna be another six hour drive. Better stop and rest. They shouldn't follow me this far out, would they? I need to get out of the rain first. Welcome to Dayfield Motel. Um. Radio? Open! Hello, 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 old Bill. Well, howdy there. Welcome to Dayfield Motel. The name's Old Bill. How can I help you? Um, I'm looking for, to spend the night. Do you have anything available? Like room 039? <laughs> Well, I do have something. It ain't pretty, though. Oh, wait. Did, wait, wait, did I sound British? This is supposed to be a hillbilly. What the fuck? Well, keep your head dry. Ah, uh, thank you? Say, what do you call yourself old Bill for? Anyway. You don't look that old. Ha. <laughs> Son, I'm barely 50. As a matter of fact, I am just turned 49 the other day. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It's okay, son, I ain't ashamed of my age. Ah, one more thing. The phone in your room does not work. Oh, the room in your the phone in your room does work. Uh, forget about me, I'm a bit crazy with my age. I'm going senile. But come and see me for the out call number. Okay. If I need to make a call, I'll let you know. Thanks. Um, can I check your computer? Or your tr trash can? Okay, let's just go out. Room 19. They're all room 19. Grill. I can't do anything with it. Okay, what's up with the music? It sounds... It sounds too, um, what do you call this? Like a jungle safari kind of vibe to it. I need to see someone about a room first. I just already talked to him. This may sound strange. May I ask what days are is your birthday? I could tell you that. Huh. 
personal information, son. But you just told me it was just a few days ago. Uh, yeah, but not which day it was. <laughs> See ya, son. Enjoy your stay. Did I receive a key? Oh, I received a key. I should get inside. Well, isn't this the penthouse suite? Oh look, they left all the stains on the bed. Ew. Oh, stained bed. It's probably their um bodily fluids. Wardrobe. I can't do anything with it. You can't do shit. Uh-huh, because you died in this when you were a kid. Okay, let's go to bed. Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do. At least until the rain stops. I fell back into bed. Gazing at the cracks in the ceiling. I can finally have some time to myself. The more I gaze, the crack would grow. Is that the girl from the garage? I've got too much on my mind. I wonder, is Mary okay? Oh, she just hanged herself. So whoopie doo. She'd be opening the diner right now. If I ever get a second chance, I'll ask her out. Well, too late, kid. Soon enough, I fell asleep. I felt cold. Very cold. Don't look to your right. There's probably someone hugging you. And they are probably dead. Like when I was in mom's room. Told ya, dead. Maybe it's happening again. Oh, not old Bill. I can't sleep. Gotta check on old Bill. He's probably dead. I need to know if Mary's safe. Oh, I thought <laughs> old Bill was our main priority here. I'll call the diner. She just still be working. But I need the out call number. I better go see the manager. He's also dead. Wait, is this a game about um, depression? Like everyone seems to be killing themselves. Like all you need to do is just ignore it. Ignore the pain, ignore the monsters. Focus on yourself. Focus on surviving. Get out of bed. Huh? Where did he go? Maybe you should look around. Key rack. There's strange there's a strange looking key here. The <laughs> What the fuck? It says build sappy place. Ugh, we, we, we shouldn't go there. It sounds like it's filled with BDMS kind of stuff. This guy has some issues. <laughs> I can't do anything with it. I can't, okay. This must be the list of everyone in the motel. Huh, only two. Me and someone named Paris Eve. Such a fancy name. Computer? Maybe has the out call number on his computer. Click, 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 click. And his password protected. Great. It says if I forget the password, find it in my birthday. Ah, well, that's convenient. That's strange. It looks like, the, like someone tried to enter the password. I better not tamper with it. Uh, do, does he have some sort of a calendar? Uh-huh. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought, why did the clock stop? Room 3. Hmm. Okay.
let's choose another register. Maybe in my room? Yeah, because there's a sliding door here that... Okay, uh, I think we really need to... Okay, BRB, you guys, I... If I use the key here... Uh-huh. Where should I use this vending machine? Window? Radio? Radio, kill the radio star something? Okay, my truck. You have a pickup truck? Cool. Okay, uh, BRB, I'm going to try and solve this puzzle first before I say anything else. Go to the side. Okay, okay. I was a bit lost there, and then we use it on this. Ah, there we go. Huh? This must be Bill's happy place. Ugh. I don't like Bill's happy place. I see blood. I can feel the happiness already. <laughs> okay. Poster. Um, lawnmower. I could use the blades. This could come in handy scaring off quitters at night. What? Note. It's a note. Please don't touch the power box. I've modified the cables to charge my truck's battery. Okay. Let's fiddle with it. The keyhole looks like it's busted. Maybe I can use something else. This? Okay. You can't do shit, kid. Workbench. Let's see what's in the workbench. An oil can. I could use some on my bed in my room. It's huge too much. If, but you're not disturbed by the fact that there are stains on it. Uh. Let's give this a try. The hole's too tight to insert the blade. Lucky there was no one around to hear me say that. Power box. Poster. How about we combine them? Shit. Washing machine. Nothing. I guess we should go back to our room. Uh, what's that? Not really hungry. For wet food. <laughs> but the cold may come in handy. I'll take a dry one from the bottom. After all that, I, di I didn't bring any toothpaste. What? What does a toothpaste has to do something with cold? Okay, for the bed, right? Um, oil for the bed. Okay. Oil and. Uh, what do I do again? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's go to the workshop, I guess. Okay, this game is really confusing at times. Okay, BRB again, I guess. Okay, oh, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go to the sides. And then... Fuck. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Let's, uh, that's ridiculous. No, I know, I know. Don't put the key into the oiled mower blade. Shit. I said, put it in the old floor hatch. This should work. Like a glum. Um, where the hell am I? You're watching someone take a bath? Holy shit! PG 13! Is that the other guest staying here? I better take. Take the tape. This always gonna get it. Wait. Is that? No. Oh shit! I need to warn her fast. Um. Um, what do I do? Is this time... Time-based or something? Cold? Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. You're a sick person. You're a sick pervert, Bill. I should report you to the police. Desk. Desk. Now why would you do something like that for? You enjoyed the show what well, just as much as I did, right? You know, I have more than one people around here, son. Did you peep at me? Look, I have the time I don't have time for this. She's in great danger. I need to warn her. That's not my concern, son. The only thing that bothers me is in your hand. The tape? Give it to me. Yeah, yeah here, take it, you sick fuck. I hope you get what's coming to you. Much obliged. I need to save her. Hello, hello? I ran too late. Hey, open up! You're not safe! I can hear something. The door's locked. I can get in. There's no time to find a key. I need to get in there now. I'll bring the lock with, with, my, with the mower blade. Okay. Uh, here he goes nothing. Oh, thank God, she's uh, uh, I guess it's barge in and see my tits day. What? Oh my, I'm so sorry to intrude, but, uh, but, um, w well, hmm. Look, this is gonna sound stupid, but I'm also almost eight. <laughs> Oh, Mark, it sounds so stupid. <laughs> There's a better pickup lines than that, you know. Also, how exactly did you know that? Uh, well, there's a peephole in your shower. Great, so tits and all then. <laughs> I was so worried I wouldn't get to see anything. I was looking out for cold nut. Uh, I was looking for an out call number for the phone in my room. I couldn't find the manager, but I found his secret recording room. Yeah, what proof do you have? Uh, I gave it to the manager. And why did you do that for? I, I don't know. I was in a rush to come rescue you. Hey, listen, don't worry about... If I knew you were about to be eaten by a monster, I'd just bust your door down too. I didn't think you'd believe me. 
I've heard more convincing stories from guys trying to get into my pants. Aha, I think you're an experienced player. That's a skirt you're wearing. Well, that's not the point. And that's a guilty face you're wearing. What's your name anyhow? It's Mark. I'm Paris. But everyone calls me Brea. Why Brea? Isn't that the character from... Um... Parasite Eve? Because I like the cheese. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a nickname. I had it in high school. Look, I'm sorry to intrude. I'll leave. You got a car? I got a truck. Yeah. Great. You can give me a lift to the next city tomorrow. And you can let me stay in your room, seeing how you busted the lock in mine. Uh, sure thing. Ah, uh, would you mind? Ah, uh, sorry. I'll just wait outside. Sorry to barge in. <laughs> Ugh. Um, cassette thing. Radio? Dang it. Okay. I better see how she's doing. I just hope Brea will be safe in here. How did she get the glass door to go? <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm sorry about before. I honestly didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's okay, Mark. Really. I'm glad that you told me the truth. And when I found out that Bill, I'm gonna break his legs. Oh, sorry, Bill. And film it. I I'm even sorry more, Bill. Please don't break mine. I need them to walk. I'm trying to get away from monsters. <laughs> you're funny, Mark. No, I won't break yours. Since you're cute, I'll let you get away with it. Okay, thanks. I guess. So, where are you off to, Brea? Oh, uh, where are you from, Brea? You have a strange accent. And so do you. I'm not going all into details, but I was born in England. So why are you here in the States? Let's just say a holiday gone wrong. So why are you heading upstate for a holiday? Ah, so why are you heading upstate for a holiday? I'm trying to get away from home. Because... Too many monsters back home, eh? You, c you could say that. You can stay you can say that again. Huh. You really believe in the monsters, do you? I wish I didn't. But it's hard not to, once you've seen them. Um, Mark. Are you sure you're not on medication? You sound, you sound like you're on drugs or something. Oh, so let's crack the crazy jokes now. <laughs> Look, if I see one, I'll believe you. I hope you never do. So, who are you going to call, by the way? Oh, just a friend. What's her name? Why did you assume that my friend is a girl? Oh, Mary. Wait, how did you know it was a girl? It's always about a girl. She works at the diner at my, in my hometown. You can use my cell phone if you like. Just keep it short. Thanks, I will. Hello, 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 hello. This is Angie speaking. Hi, uh, this is Mark. Oh, the guy with the brown coat. I yeah, that's me. Can I speak to Mary, please? Mark. Mark, I've got some bad news. Mary died. This morning. She committed suicide right here in the, in the diner. I'm so sorry, Mark. <laughs> I'm a man. Thank you. For letting me know. <laughs> I, I promise I'm not crying. So, how did it go? She, she, uh, Mark, 
Are you okay? I'm wearing like a bitch here. A baby or something. I'm fine. Uh, hey, Mark. Do you love her? Uh, um... Uh... No? Um... Yeah, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm guessing that, um, we're just friends. I don't, um, I don't love her, but I care about her because she's, um, she's the one I've been talking to for all this time. She's just a friend. Feeling lovesick. I'll leave you to it, Mark. Bed. Sliding door? I don't need that. Okay. What do I do? Oh yeah, um... Cassette tape. What do I do? Bed? What? Bill! He took my car battery. He's trying to keep us from leaving. The fucking bastard. Oh. I'm gonna get you now, Bill. I have your key, Bill. Um... Um, let's use the cassette tape, I guess? Oh, oh! I saw a radio over there. Um... Shit. Uh, what do I do next? Uh, this video is going to take a lot of editing because there's a lot of times that I don't know what to do. The computer? Um... Okay. A grill. I could use this to draw a grill out of hiding. I need something that says fuel. Ah, okay, okay. Coal. Okay, this will work nice, uh, nicely as fuel. Now I just need something to light it. Too bad I don't smoke. Oh, Freya, could you give me uh, your lighter or matches? Eh. Um, Freya, what are you doing spreading your legs? Her lighter might be useful. I guess she doesn't wake up or I'll look as bad as Bill. I'll give it back to her when she wakes up. She took the entire bed. How are we gonna sleep there? I can use this to light the coal. What's that smell? That boy better not have started up that fireplace. He'll burn the whole motel down. There, this should draw him out of hiding. Uh, 
Um, what do I do next? Um, Bill? Here? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> what do I do next? Oh, yeah. Um, I need to give like the key washing machine. The cassette. And there's my car battery. Bill must have stashed in here on its own, on its way out. Great. It's flat. Great. How am I going to charge it? Power box. The cassette tape again? Uh. Uh, Rhea, the truck's fixed now. We should get out of here now. 12 channels and nothing but porn. <laughs> Variety much? It's not even the good porn eater. Um, I'd be more worried about getting out of here. Bill would be looking for us soon. Why are we leaving so early? I'll explain later. Right now we need to go. Okay, I'll pack my things. Hello there, the lovely couple. Shit, it's Bill. Come on now, we, we can discuss these problems that you've caused. Bria, just pack your things and wait for me. When I say head for the truck and don't stop for anything. Okay. Well, son, you seem to be causing me a lot of problems. But don't you worry, once my buddy Ted gets here, we'll take care of you. And that pretty good you got there too. We're leaving, Bill. There's nothing you can do about us. Uh, stop us. Oh my god, the music are so so loud. See now, that's not what I don't understand. Uh, that's not what I don't understand. How are you going to leave? I have a gun in your truck's battery. But I see you've taken one of those from me already. I'm warning you, Bill. Let us go, I promise you'll live. You'll let me live? Huh, you don't even have a gun, kid. I love your chances, son. Um, Mark, what the hell is going on? Ah, there you are, you pretty little thing. Ready to have some fun? This is your last chance, Bill. If you move an inch, I'll shoot her instead. Mark, don't! Dad? Um, Dad? Huh? Dad? Dad? Oh, Daddy, what did you do? What the fuck's that? I'll explain later. You have to go. I didn't expect this to happen. Any of it to happen. That was your father? Brian knows the truth. What do I do? I can't keep her with me. Can I? Okay, Mark, start explaining. Uh, that was my father. I'm a demon's child. And my mother um, did some rituals and then he fell in love with the demon. Uh, what's there to explain? You've just seen it. You know what I mean? Dad! Oh, da, that. That's nothing. You have to be fucking kidding me. I just want someone fucking... I just want some fucking creature eat a guy. And you called it dad. 
speak or I'll fucking stab you with a pen or something. Wow, so persistent and violent. Mark, don't test me. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yes. Yes, Mark. Tell us a backstory. He is, or should I say, was my father. So why don't you look like him then? Huh? Because I'm not dead. Okay, no more. But, but I want to know. You can't just give me that without an explanation. Please, Mark, tell me. Why does she want to know so much about me and my past? I, I can't tell you. My father will kill you if he, if he knew the truth. Why? But I can show you. I've fallen too deep with this girl. She knows way too much now. She wants to know about you. About all of you. But don't worry. I promise. She'll meet you all soon. Are you going to say anything? Mark! Uh, oh. No. Mark, where are you going? Home. To somewhere that people shouldn't go. Oh? And where might that be? New York. Start spreading the news. So we're gonna go that kind of stuff. What's wrong with a big apple? Rotten is it? It's the place where monsters are born. Monsters are born. That's a little bit stretching it yes why are we going to place where we could very likely die there's someone there that can help me he can also explain all of this to you just who is this guy his name's Dan Dan huh what's he like I don't know I've never met him <laughs> So we're going to see a guy you've never met to learn about monsters. Huh, it's almost as if I'm in some kind of a video game. A wink wink. I can still drop you off at Vegas. No way, I want answers. They got me hooked here, kid. Didn't she just drag me through all that? Well, it's your funeral. Hey, Mark. How did your father die? Oh, he, um, he killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mark. If it helps, my father, my father man died <laughs> when I was young. Okay, why, why there's a man there? What happened to him? Well, he owed some guy's money. He was a big gambler. He sold everything he owned to pay it back. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. He... He was shot dead in front of me. So what happened? Why didn't they shoot you? I hid in the whole fireplace in the living room. And they didn't see you? I hid in my dad's black jacket. I'm sorry. It must have been very traumatizing for you. Shit happens. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it does. But always for a reason. We better get going. Our plane will leave in another 12 bars. Here. My shot my shot for the drinks. Okay. Are you sure? I don't mind paying. It's cool. Save you an excuse to take me to bed. <coughs> you seem like a really open woman. When you get used and abused, your whole life, well, what's there to hide? Fair enough. Drink your sorrows away. We made it to Vegas Airport. I know they're following me. But why Brea? There's so much I don't understand. How can we be so similar yet so different? Maybe this is a mistake. Or you're merely a pawn of fate. I'll have to decide what to do with her once we see Dave. Comfy Mark? Huh? 
Oh, yes, very. So why do you change? Uh, why do? You, how did you manage to get business class? Are you kidding? I'm a woman. That's how. I get a picture. So tell me, when you mentioned that thing in the bar about your dad, yeah? Why did you lie to me? What? What do you mean? I never lied to you. What do you take me for? Some kind of twat? No, I don't. Mark, I know when someone is talking bullshit. How did your father die? No more lies. Okay, I expect the same from you too. Sure. My father died because of me. I killed him. You what? You killed him? I came home from school one day. I heard screaming coming from upstairs. I peeked into my mom's room. I saw him beat her again. I hated him for beating my mom. I wanted to stop. But they, but they were getting worse. After I seen what that monster did to mom, I took gu dad's gun and that was hidden in the kitchen drawer. Why would there be a gun in the, under the kitchen drawer? That's my question. But anyway, and I shot him through the neck. I never meant to kill him. I just wanted him to stop. Look, Mark. I'm not the best when it comes to sympathy, but it's not your fault. It must have been the only way. No, it was my fault. I shot him. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of logic I'm gonna be here. I could have called the cops. Mom planted a knife on him to make it looked like she was trying to kill me. I'm sorry, Mark. I shouldn't have asked. Just forget about it. It was so good to get it off, uh, off my chest. Okay. I'm going to use the lab. Huh? The bathroom, Mark. Oh, do you want me to come with you? You know, just in case something happens. You can join me in, in the Mile High Club next time. <laughs> that's that's not what I meant. Yeah, sure you did it. I'll be back soon. Don't die on me, Brea. Just gonna die. Oh, I'm controlling Brea now. I'm controlling Brea. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, how do I say? Um, uh, please choose the name to save this game as um, Fa Faber Fa Nuggets Faber Nuggets. Okay, save. Alright, oh, save. Save. Okay, so I'm going to leave this ep this episode here. It looks great. It looks promising. I like the story. I like the art style. I like the gameplay. Overall, it's a good game. I highly recommend. Just ignore them. And if you want more contests like this, give me give me subs, give me likes, and give that bell a ring in the nuts. And I'll see you later in my next video.